You've probably heard that us people on Earth have a global warming problem. The Arctic and glaciers all around the world are melting at a record pace, while on the other side of the planet, Antarctica is gaining tremendous amounts of sea ice each year. Last winter, it topped 7.78 million square miles. That's about one-tenth as big as the land area of Earth. This gave a lot of climate change deniers a reason to dispute global warming. So the uh, whole basis for the alarmism is not true. It's, it's based on flawed computer modeling. That's completely wrong. You don't vote on so, that. You know, enjoy, you know. So is NASA lying to us? Not really. Let me explain. Here are two satellite images. On the left, we see the Arctic, and on the right, we see the Antarctic, both in their winter periods. It quickly becomes clear that Antarctica has more sea ice than the Arctic. There are a couple of theories as to why Antarctica is gaining sea ice while the Arctic is losing it at a record pace. The most probable theory is that the Southern Ocean circumpolar current that circles Antarctica is preventing warmer water from reaching Antarctica, which keeps the water around Antarctica extremely cold, functioning as a shell of some sorts. But you may ask, doesn't the warm water surrounding this current warm the current up? Good question. Fortunately, this isn't true. The extremely cold winds on Antarctica help to keep the ocean water around the continent extremely cold, enabling the sea ice cover to grow even bigger, making the seawater even colder to eventually create more sea ice even as global temperatures have risen significantly. The Arctic, unfortunately, has less luck than its bigger brother, where Antarctica is surrounded by seawater, has a current surrounding it, and has a great expanse of land to cool its sea ice. The Arctic is surrounded by land, and has no land to cool its sea ice with. Unfortunately, it's not all good news for Antarctica. Scientists have published warnings that several ice shelves in West Antarctica are being weakened by warm currents where they connect to the ocean floor. That melting phenomenon is expected to lead significant, unavoidable sea rise over centuries. An iceberg that scientists had been monitoring for months has finally broken off of Antarctica's Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. The land mass weighs over a trillion tons. That's twice the volume of Lake Erie. It's one of the largest icebre icebergs to break off in recorded history. Martin O'Leary. Since the late 1970s, the Arctic has lost an average of 20,800 square miles of sea ice per year while the Antarctic has gained an annual average of 7,300 square miles. Too bad we're still gonna have to deal with the effects of climate change. If we're gonna judge how bad climate change is right now, we shouldn't look at Antarctica. Antarctica is cheating global warming, which of course isn't a bad thing at all, but we should look at the Arctic where the effects are much more visible. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy this video? Please like this video, and if you want to see more content, click the subscribe button. While you're at it, click on the video on the right part of the screen to watch another video. Thank you so much.